In this video, we demonstrate how to maintain the bite and vertical dimension in an all-on-X case after the extraction of the teeth. To begin, we measure and mark the vertical dimension by placing marking dots on the nose and cheek using a tongue depressor or plastic ruler. Be sure to securely tape the marks to prevent them from being wiped or cleaned off during the procedure. We use well-fitting thermoplastic denture shape trays, which can also serve as both an impression and bite registration tool. Alternatively, if the patient was previously a dentulous, we can use their existing denture. From the set of four good fit trays, we select the one that best matches the patient's jaw. The thermoplastic denture is then placed in hot water to soften. After cooling to a comfortable temperature, it is inserted into the patient's mouth. The patient closes their mouth to achieve the measured vertical dimension. We use the H-cap Impression Coping Healing Abutment from EZ Scan Body, as its height is ideal, ensuring it doesn't interfere with the bite. Finally, we reline the tray with the appropriate impression material, typically alginate since it doesn't stick to the stenches. Mix the alginate according to the manufacturer's instructions, preferably using an alginate machine for consistency. Once mixed, place the alginate or any other suitable impression material into the denture. Position the denture over the multi-unit abutments and have the patient bite down properly to capture an accurate impression. Take care when removing the relined denture from the patient's mouth to avoid snagging on stitches. Ensure the impression material remains securely attached to the denture. Set your scanner to perform a 360-degree scan of the relined denture, ensuring thorough scanning of all scan bodies. Easy H-cap scan bodies are designed for easy scanning and function as standard multi-unit healing caps saving time during the transition from scan bodies to healing caps. Begin scanning from the intaglio side and proceed to scan the top part of the denture. Clean the buccal side to optimize scanner capture during bite scanning. Scan the opposing arch followed by scanning the bite. Ensure the patient is in the correct biting position. If necessary, assist the patient in achieving the proper bite alignment. Ensure the bite is scanned in a single motion for accuracy. After scanning, check both the scanned bite and the position of the denture in the patient's mouth to confirm they align correctly. Review the scans to ensure they are accurate and the bite is correct before exporting the files in STL or PLY format. The H-cap serves as both a healing cap for multi-unit abutments and a scan body used to scan multi-unit abutments. If you're using any photogrammetry system, you can find the H-cap in the library. Here is the tuple camera and instructions on how to use it. In tuple, go to the export section, find the easy H-cap from the list and export it. Tuple will save the file as an STL file. In the Shining 3D implant system selection, you can download the easy scan body from the database download list and find the H-cap scan body. Shining 3D software automatically converts it to the appropriate format for use within the system. To design an all-on-X appliance in ExoCAD, follow these steps. Choose the implant abutment as an anatomic crown. In the options and parameters, select Screw Retained. Use a thimble design with the Virtual Gingiva option. Make sure to select Preserve Tooth Library Shape. Copy these settings to the other implant abutments. For the pontic, choose an anatomic pontic with the thimble option and virtual gingiva. We import the jaw scan with the H-cap as the jaw scan and then import the H-caps scanned with the photogrammetry camera as scan markers. Align meshes in expert mode. Meshes menu. Under the Tools section, select Manually first. Bring the two meshes close to better visualize their positions. Then, click on Automatically and identify three matching spots on the H-cap in the model and the H-caps captured by the photogrammetry camera. 
When detecting the implant position, from the Easy Implant list, choose the Easy Abutments H cap. This will present two options. The Mu TB H cap is for using a titanium base and will allow you to choose between short, lingual, or GIHNEO options. To go directly to the multi unit abutment, select the Direct H cap. Click on the same spot shown in the Detect Implant position and the tooth number H cap to align them, then adjust the arrow to match the red dot. Pay attention to the color coding when aligning the spots. Use Edit Mesh from the right-click tools menu in ExoCAD to invert the impression, converting the negative side of the denture impression into a positive model. From the Edit Mesh menu, select Only Surface to isolate the top part. Ensure the entire top surface is selected and highlighted in yellow. If the intaglio surface is mistakenly selected and appears yellow, hold the Shift key and draw a selection around the area to deselect it. While in Edit Mesh mode, right-click on the model and select Show Triangle Orientation to visualize the direction of the mesh. Then, right-click again and choose Invert Triangle Orientation. This will convert the impression into a positive model.